If you ask me what I came into this life to do, I will tell you, I came to live out loud. Everything is only a dream. The artist is nothing without the gift, but the gift is nothing without work. I have but one passion, to enlighten those who have been kept in the dark, in the name of humanity which has suffered so much and is entitled to happiness. My fiery protest is simply the cry of my very soul. If you shut up truth and bury it under the ground, it will but grow, and gather to itself such explosive power that the day it bursts through it will blow up everything in its way. She was cold by nature, self-love predominating over passion, rather than being virtuous, she preferred to have her pleasures all to herself. The only basis for living is believing in life, loving it, and applying the whole force of one's intellect to know it better. Nothing develops intelligence like travel. Man's highest duty is to protect animals from cruelty. It is not I who am strong, it is reason, it is truth. If people can just love each other a little bit, they can be so happy. If I cannot overwhelm with my quality, I will overwhelm with my quantity. The word realist means nothing to me, because I would subordinate reality to temperament. Give me what is true and I applaud, but give me what is individual and alive and I applaud even more. Since the same human mire remains beneath, does not all civilization reduce itself to the superiority of smelling nice and living well? One forges one style on the terrible anvil of daily deadlines. There are two men inside the artist, the poet and the craftsman. One is born a poet. One becomes a craftsman. These young people naturally grow up with ideas different from ours, for they are born for times when we shall no longer be here. From the moment I start a new novel, life's just one endless torture. The first few chapters may go fairly well and I may feel there's still a chance to prove my worth, but that feeling soon disappears, and every day I feel less and less satisfied. Let us eat, drink and satisfy our coarse appetites, but let us keep our souls sacred and apart. The road to Lourdes is littered with crutches, but not one wooden leg. I am little concerned with beauty or perfection. I don't care for the great centuries. All I care about is life, struggle, intensity. Don't go looking at me like that because you'll wear your eyes out. My fiery protest is simply the cry of my very soul. The past was but the cemetery of our illusions, one simply stubbed one's toes on the gravestones. If you shut up truth and bury it underground, it will but grow. Art is a corner of creation seen through a temperament. A ruined man fell from her hands, like a ripe fruit, to lie rotting on the ground. Did not one spend the first half of one's days in dreams of happiness and the second half in regrets and terrors? I am spending delightful afternoons in my garden, watching everything living around me. As I grow older, I feel everything departing, and I love everything with more passion. 
They dared not peer down into their own natures, down into the feverish confusion that filled their minds with a kind of dense, acrid mist. I do not despair in the least of ultimate triumph. I repeat it with intense conviction. In my view, you cannot claim to have seen something until you have photographed it. It is not necessary that one should humble oneself to deserve assistance, it is sufficient that one should suffer. Over all crowds there seems to float a vague distress, an atmosphere of pervasive melancholy, as if any large gathering of people creates an aura of terror and pity. Yes. Live life with every fiber of one's being, surrender oneself to it, with no thoughts of rebellion, without deluding oneself that one can improve it and render it painless. Did science promise happiness? I do not believe it. It promised truth, and the question is to know if we will ever make happiness with truth. Why is it that my heart is so touched whenever I meet a dog lost in our noisy streets? Why do I feel such anguished pity when I see one of these creatures coming and going, sniffing everyone, frightened, despairing of even finding its master? Blow the candle out, I don't need to see what my thoughts look like. A new dynasty is never founded without a struggle. Blood makes good manure. The day is not far off when one ordinary carrot may be pregnant with revolution. The fate of animals is of greater importance to me than the fear of appearing ridiculous, it is indissolubly connected with the fate of men. Why then should money be blamed for all the dirt and crimes it causes? For is love less filthy, love which creates life?